Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts, doing another video. Um, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. All right. So I, I want to get on a topic, man. That um, I don't think most people talk about too much, but I'm looking at it in this society that we have, you know, more advancements and more understanding of certain things. And I'm talking about when it comes to having children. Um, I know everybody's different on this opinion, but I'm just going to give you my take on children. Uh, I've been working with kids for about eight years now and looking at different situations with children. I'm looking at, you know, the parent situation and what they're going through and, you know, we see the resources and um, what they need and, you know, dealing with behavior issue children and while coming from a, coming from a school that you know, has a higher education value versus one that doesn't have such as a, a, a great one, a better one than other school that I'm looking at, looking at two different situations. And I'm looking at, you know, what is the child going through? And I, you know, talk to children and they tell me certain situations about their life. And then I look at the parents, talk to the parents. And I'm looking at it now as being the age that I am. I believe that when children come here, we need to know one, know ourself before we have children. A lot of people are just having children, and especially children. This is definitely to kids. Um, if you, you know, you're having children on, you know, unprotected sex. I'm not saying that it's a great thing that you, you know, I'm not telling you that no, you shouldn't have sex because that's kind of stupid. A lot of our parents had kids at 16, 17, 18. Um, and it's just you need to protect yourself as you're having children. But before you have children, you first want to understand who you are. You need to understand your value in life, what's your purpose. You don't want to have a child trying to figure out who you are. And you've got, now you've got to figure out who you are and that individual. Then you have to figure out the person that you have uh, um, the baby with. you got to figure them out because, you, because what happens to the situation if y'all break up or, you know, you have some disagreements. Now you're trying to figure out three people at once. So, I mean... Before I have before I have children, I honestly I honestly feel that before you have children, make sure that you have something to offer them. When you have a child, make sure you have something built up, a career, you're starting something, a business, even if it's on the low end, before you have children. Build something, create something, build something for yourself so when you have children, you're already in the process of thinking, okay, I'm building myself. I also made because I made a lot of videos about um basically investing in your time as a parent so you can you you can um um educate your child to the highest point you need to keep continuously educate yourself so you can have a bond with your child because a lot of the time what happens is is that parents after a certain a certain age feel like they know everything they've been through it all they've seen it all and they stop learning well in a society that always advances every other month and your child is going through this society that's evolving and you won't be able to have a connection with them if you just stick to your old back in my day type belief system. It just doesn't work out because kids grow and evolve and times change, you know, and that was your old parents mentality. It doesn't have to be yours. So, you know, in this generation, we have all the resources to learn a lot of information. If your child asks you a question, you should be willing to learn it. And if your experience is is uh, knowledgeable in that situation, then of course it's going to definitely help and you probably ain't going to have to look up anything. But if you don't understand a certain situation, why don't you pick it up to help them? Why don't you learn it with them? Especially when it comes to this uh, uh, reading and math. If you're not a real good, especially for dads, if they're not real good, I know a lot of men who are not really great at reading, writing, and math, and they don't really like it. But you got children, so, you know what I'm saying, instead of just always enforcing why they should learn, and why don't you learn it with them so you both understand the potential, the uh, power of that information, and then you build a bond with your child. Uh, um, I have a friend, he's, you know, he's an older guy, and, you know, but he has a 14-year-old kid, and, you know, they find, you know, he has, he has five kids, and they're very young, you know, but he found, you know, finds ways to, to learn stuff with them, engage with them, and so they build a bond based upon that, and they love their father because he's always continuously learning. He's in the process of learning, and he's not giving up that situation. He's just not sticking to his old beliefs. He just, he, you know what I'm saying, he's older, and he's more mature in certain situations, and there's certain things he doesn't enjoy, but 
and, and it's not the fact that he accepts everything that's given to him by the new generation, but he is evolving with the time and his children. He's evolving with his children's time, and he's not giving up because he's older than them by these many years. So he's learning, so he's evolving, so it's possible. Parents need to understand that back-in-my-day mentality. But going back to that back in my day mentality is not the best mentality to have in certain situations, especially in this evolved society. But you need to understand you have to offer something to these kids. Let me let me explain something. Children did not ask to be here. You wanted them to be here. So when they're here, why don't you offer them something? Why don't you give them an incentive to enjoy the life that you offered for you offer them to be here? It's just like a contract. You know what I'm saying? Most rappers don't get into a contract because they're not offered something that of value. They don't get into a deal like that. They 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 and they somewhat like the deal, like what they're seeing, and that's why they sign a contract. It's just like that with a child. When you bring a child in, you basically sign in a twenty one year contract. So you must offer them something. Uh, you know, I'm seeing children who, you know, are going through everything, you know family situations and you know they don't deserve it they really don't deserve it they don't need to go through all this they didn't ask like I said they didn't ask to be here you asked for them to be here whether it was planned or unplanned you know if you had sex in a condom busted you know if you had sex unprotected you was asking and you was playing Russian roulette throwing them dice to have that child here. So when that child gets here, why don't you offer them something while they're here? Give them an incentive to be happy to be here. And that comes definitely with you always evolving um, in your education, uh, whatever it is, to help them to achieve a higher goal. Because listen, it's just an investment plan. If you look at life, it's, it's an investment. Society is a big business. You know, living is a business. The more you invest, the greater you, the return you receive. So you invest inside, invest in your children, the better the return you're going to get. So, I mean, that's is all I'm going to talk about at this topic. Hey, if you don't agree, tell me why you don't agree. You know, send a comment. I love having a conversation with people. If you don't agree with this situation or if you do agree with it, like it, you know, share it. You know, maybe it's going to help some. It's going to help somebody. I definitely know it will. Um... So I thank you. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's OpenThoughts.com. Also, look at my Health for Wealth page. You have a lot of links to a lot of healthy things, a lot of stuff that you can look at very quickly and get some very quick information. It's very quick. I got pictures up there. All you got to do is click it, go to the link, bam. You got some information about that topic. It's not overwhelming. You just read the articles or you just look, click at the picture and it just gives you fast information. So I uh, thank you. And... Um, Oh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, uh, on Blogspot, on Blogspot, on you know Google Plus or what is it? Yeah, I think, believe it's Google Plus or Google Chrome, whichever one of those is. Gmail. So, uh, thank you, and uh, you have a good one.